Hey, what's up everyone? So, a new update. Uh, the, uh, the doctor called, well, the surgeon called and said he wanted to schedule a consultation, an appointment, a, uh, just a talk about the situation, what's going on. And I'm not getting into details of everything because, uh, that was what was said between daddy's boss and that his boss just said keep him posted. But the appointment, well, one of, one of his bosses, but uh, there's actually two or three individuals that actually run the place, but they told him, they told my mama on the phone just a moment ago, the doctor's office called him, and, or called her and scheduled the appointment. And you'd think if it was urgent, they'd get you in there sooner, but actually with me, when I had my tonsil surgery, and appendix they actually scheduled it later so who knows and I was about to die then from the appendix and then I was about to I couldn't even breathe from the tonsil surgery I mean from the tonsil light tonsillitis so who knows how these doctors and surgeons do but they scheduled the appointment for the Wednesday after next not this Wednesday not this coming Wednesday but the following Wednesday in the middle of the week which is going to be difficult for him to be able to take off because he's a truck driver and somehow or other he's going to have to manage to be able to go to the surgeon and have that meeting in the middle of the week that consultation consult him in the, or talk to him in the middle of the week on a Wednesday not this Wednesday but the following Wednesday so they called and they set that up his bosses were asking he didn't have cancer or anything, right? That's what they were asking, but no one knows. I hope not. I, I pray to God that we that that's not the situation, but you'd think it would be a whole lot worse situation if he did. But we don't know. We just know that the uh, consultation will be will be the Wednesday after next week the following Wednesday so two Wednesdays from now so not the 19th but the 26th February 26th that's when the, the appointment will be I believe so still keep us in your prayers I don't know what they're going to do I don't know what they're going to schedule and I know the cost of everything is outrageous that's all I know but I don't know about that yet I don't know what the insurance will cover I have no clue as far as the actual insurance and Blue Cross and Aflac and all that I have no idea anyway I know Aflac they claim doesn't cover it until unless you have over 5,000 I think and the other insurance the deductibles high as well anyway that's the update. He is having a uh, consultation on the tw uh, 26th, the Wednesday after next. I hope and pray. Right now, I'm hoping and praying. I've been having strange uh, these strange feelings for the past several weeks of something. Every time he hit a bump, it hurt, and he was almost fed up last night and was going to head back home, but he didn't. He's heading on to Kansas City, Missouri right now. And he was on the phone with Mama all night long until just earlier. And she told him what to do and told him to take, you know, take some, um, a leave and then, or some Excedrin, I should say, and medicine for his fluid and his diabetic medicine, obviously, and the medicine for his anxiety and mood the mood medicine, anxiety medicine, and he took his sugar medicine and his, you know, the, all the things he has to take from the doctor. So all of that, he took all of that this morning, and then he, that's the update on what was going on. And uh, he felt a little better after he laid down. And about me, which, see, the thing is about irritable bowel with me, I know the feeling on that. Because when you get that, that's no fun. And, you know, him being out on the road, that's even more difficult. 
actually that's difficult in any situation any job or anything it's a hindrance anywhere you go but the meeting is on the 26th I believe Wednesday after next so the consultation and they'll let us know what's going on I will keep you posted I'll keep you updated I'm uh, not talking low for this video this is actually an update on what's going on I had something else I was going to say but I forgot and I'm just going to leave it at this I love you all thank you for being with me and being with all of us he wanted to say also that he appreciates my family they all wanted to say they appreciate you that they appreciate you all very much They've wanted, they've wanted me to tell you that many different times. That they, uh, that they appreciate all of everything. That there's individuals to share with regarding what's going on, regarding all of the things that we experience, that the strangeness, that it's nice to have people to talk to out there about it. It's, it's a crazy reality. Peace and much love. Just needed to give updates.